Authenticating a React application shouldn't be hard. Auth0 is something that many people use to do the authentication and the authorization in your application. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to show you how to authenticate, that is, how a user can identify themselves and log in to your application. And then we can lock down some routes and don't show everything if you're not logged in. But be aware that this is only on the client side. So you have to do some authorization also. For example, like in this case, I'm going to do this on this application that I built in my premium React course. And this is an API that I call to get the movie data. So I provide a token to get that data. And this token is actually global. Everybody is using it in this application. So there's um, not an individual token, but you should have some token when a user log in and they have to provide a token to be able to access data from your API. But I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. I'm going to show you the login parts. So let's get to it. The first thing you have to do is to create an account at auth0.com if you haven't done that already. I have logged in here. I'm going to show you how to create uh, everything we need to set up for our application. When you have created your account and you're at the dashboard, you select applications in the menu here. And you can see that I have my React Movie app uh, here already, but I'm going to create one for you to show you how to do it. So select Create Application. And then it's important to select the single page web application here. So create that one. And then we just have to do some few tweaks here to create our application. Uh, we don't have to do anything more here. We just go to settings. And as you can see here, we have a client ID and a client secret. We're going to need those ones to set up our application, but not right yet. We have to fix some other stuff here first. So down below here at the allowed callback URLs, we are going to put in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost and the port 3000. And that's because when we are in development mode, we run our application on this one. So when you deploy your application, you should, you should set up different routes here. But in our case, it's enough. We're using Create React App and that one run on port 3000 by default. So that's the one we're using. So copy this one and paste it in, allowed logout URLs and also allowed web origins. So these are the three that we have to set up to get this to work. So that's everything we have to do. A load callback URLs, a load logout URLs, a load web origins. These are the three that we're going to set up with localhost 3000. So do that and save changes. And you can scroll to the top because we are going to need this data here soon. Before that, we also need to install the library that we use for this uh, thing to work. And I'm just briefly going to show you the application. This is the movie database application that I have. You can watch different movies. No, no, you can't watch the movies here, but you can check out the information about the movies here. So for example, this one, and you can see, yeah, you have this nice little information page about specific movie here. So that's great. And you can also search for movies like this. But that's not important for this tutorial. I'm using this application just to show you how we can make this application to work with a login system from Auth0. And I'm not sponsored in any way uh, by Auth0. So that's not why I'm showing this. I just think it's great. And there's a lot of people using it for React applications. So that's why. And it's fairly easy to set up. So what we have to do now is to install an npm package that's called auth0 forward slash auth0-spa-js. So that's the one that we're going to install and use in our application. It's fairly new, I think, actually. Um, so they're using hooks and stuff in it to, to get this to work. And we can start off by installing this one. So I'm going to go inside of the terminal here. And I'm in the folder, of course, where the application is. So I'm going to run npm i and at auth0 and auth0 dash spa dash js. I install that package. All right, that installed. Uh, so I clear the console and we can also start up the application again. All right, so that's the package that we need. That's the only one that we're going to need. And then if we look at auth0.com forward slash docs 
forward slash quick start forward slash spa forward slash react forward slash zero one dash login. They have a tutorial here on how to set up your login with React. They are using React Router. I am using Reach Router in my tutorial. So that's why I'm going to have some stuff a little bit different uh, on that part. But they are using a file here they have created for you that's really, really neat. So we're just going to steal that. We're going to copy that straight off from this one. And that's a file they call react-auth0-spa. I'm going to take all of this code here and copy it. So this is essentially a component that we use to wrap our application to get access to all that sweet auth0 stuff. So I copy this here, go back to my code editor, and inside my source folder, I'm going to create a new folder that I call auth. And inside that auth folder, I create a new file that I call react-auth0-spa.js. And I paste that code in, do some auto formatting just in case. And I'm also going to bump up the font size a little bit more, I think. Something like that, maybe. So we don't have to do anything with this file. We just leave it as it is. And first, we're going to set up our auth0 config here. So I have a file already that's called config.js. And here I have the API URL, the API key. I removed that one because I don't want you guys to see that one now. But I am going to create my config for auth0 here also. So I'm going to export const auth0 config. And this is an object. I have the domain. My domain is going to be webenfark.eu dot auth zero dot com and this one is going to be different for you of course because you set this up when you create an account at auth zero then i have the client id and that's going to be a string i'm going to copy that soon and the redirect yuri and that one is going to be http colon four slash forward slash localhost three thousand this one is obviously also going to be changed if you, when you deploy the application and have it live. So we need a client ID. So go back to the browser and inside my application here, I have the client ID. So I copy this one and give it to this property here. All right, so that's the setup we need. And we can now start using this one inside our application. So I go to the index.js file. That's the file that renders out our application to the DOM. So I can call this auth stuff. I'm going to import auth0 provider from dot forward slash auth react auth0 spa. That's the file that I copied and pasted inside here. All right. Then I'm going to import my config. So import auth0 config from dot forward slash config. It's in the same folder. So that's the two we need to make this work. And we have our application here, and we can simply just wrap our application with the auth0 provider. And we give the auth0 provider our config. And as we're using ES6 syntax, I can spread this once to this one, like this. And I close it. And I'm going to move my application inside of that one and do some auto formatting. And you can see that I've wrapped the application in this one here. So that's everything I need to do. This one will provide the auth0 functionality to my whole application. So I save it. Then I'm going to create a new component. And I'm not going to go into styling and stuff like that because I think that's not essential for this tutorial. But inside my components, I'm going to create a new component that's called login. .js. So import React from React, like that. I have a const login equals, and I use an arrow function, and I export default login, like that. And then I also want to import use auth0.
from dot dot forward slash auth and react auth zero spa. So this is a React hook that they provide for us that we can use to grab data about the logged in user and stuff like that. And in this case, I'm going to use something that's called login with redirect. And I call the use auth custom hook use auth zero custom hook, All right? And then I'm going to return something. So I return, in this case, I create just a button for the login. I have an onclick handler, an inline arrow function, login with redirect. So I run that function there. And in this case, I don't want to redirect, so I don't provide it with any arguments here, and that will make it redirect to the kind of main page. And it can say login inside of the button. Okay, so this is my login component. So I save it. And then I'm going to create another component that I actually already created here. I forgot about that one. So I created this authenticated route component. I, I'm using Reach Router, as I told you, for this application. So I have to do a little bit differently than they do in the tutorial on auth0.com. This is a React component. So what I'm going to do, I call this authenticated route. It's going to take in a component and a path, and then I just spread the rest if we have some other props. So I import the same custom hook, use auth, and I import the login component that I just created. I'm grabbing something that's called is authenticated. With that one, we can check that the user is actually logged in. And then I'm going to have a conditional here. So if the user is authenticated, if authenticated equals the true, then I'm going to return the, the component. Otherwise, I will redirect back to the login page. So you have to be authenticated and logged in to be able to see the component. So that's what this one will do. It will essentially wrap another component and just return the component if the user is logged in. Okay. So I have that one now, and I have to modify the routes in my app.js component. As you can see here, I'm using uh, reach router, as I told you, and I set up the routes here. I have the home, I have the move, and the not found. So these two here, I want to modify these to not be able to show them if you're not logged in. So what I can do, I can import my authenticated route from dot forward slash authenticated route. That's the component. And I can swap these ones out. I use the authenticated route component instead. I have the path, that's correct, but I have to give it the component also. And I'm going to give it the home component like that. And also the same with the movie authenticated route. I have the path, it's the same. I give it the component. And it's going to be the movie component, like that. So that's everything I have to do inside of here. OK, so I'm going to try this out now. We don't have a logout button yet, but we can see that this works. OK, so we have the login button. I reload it just in case. I try to log in, and this will show the default login window. So you can either create an account or log in with an existing account, or you can log in with Google. And you can, of course, set this up to use other sign-in forms if you want to do that. So there you have it. We can log in and everything is working, but you have to be logged in for this one to work. All right. But we can't log out, so I'm going to create a logout button also. And I'm going to do that inside of the header. And in this particular case, I have a folder that's called elements and I have a header.js file. And again, I'm going to import the use auth zero hook from dot dot forward slash, and I think I need to have a dot dot forward slash again. And then we have the file there. This one is making an implicit return. So now I have to convert this to make an explicit return instead. Like that. And then I destructure out is authenticated and something that's called logout. And I call the use auth zero hook like that. So now I can check if we're logged in, otherwise we can log out. I'm just gonna put an ugly button here also for this one. 
So is authenticated. If we're authenticated, we can show a button. That means that we're logged in. So we show this button. And I have an on click handler. And I call logout on that one. Yeah, I can just say log out like that. Uh, what's wrong here? Yeah, of course I have to have an end curly bracket there also like that. So save the file, go back to the application. I log in, sign in. And you can see that the logout button shows. So now we can do everything here inside of the application because we logged in and then we can log out and then we can do nothing. It will just redirect us to this login screen. So this is quite a simple case of setting up authentication with Auth0 in your React application. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you like my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and support me. And I will put up videos each week on this channel. See you in another one.